In this video, we're going to take a look at Cardos XL, a new model for Stable Diffusion, SDXL. Guys, just a quick interruption to let you know that I've got now a bunch of courses for Stable Diffusion, running from Beginner's Guides for Stable Diffusion for Automatic 1111 to Beginner's Guide for Comfy UI, all the way to Advanced Comfy UI and Mastery. If you want to learn more about what we're talking about in this video, I will have a link to these courses. You're going to have a discount, but please act quickly because the discounts do not last forever. Hope to see you over there joining us for the courses. Now, this new model comes from Civit AI and what it's supposed to be very good at doing is working up images which don't necessarily require a lot of prompting. So you can see some sample images here and the sample prompts where we take a look at them, they're not that complicated. Lunapunk is the prompt here and on this one here we've got a prompt of Cloudpunk. It's an SDXL merged checkpoint and it's one of the ones that I've tested which I really wanted to talk about because I think it produces results that are some they're a little bit different from SDXL, the standard SDXL prompt and which are nonetheless pretty interesting. One of the things you might want to do with this one is to try this idea of very simple prompts and to see what it does. Uh, let it use its own imagination. Now I've tested it with a wide variety of prompts and for the most part it has actually given me better results than the standard SDXL model. So we'll take a look at some of these results and hopefully you'll agree with me that this one is worth spending a bit of time on. Going to be a combination of some Cardos XL and some SDXL. And we're going to compare them. This is Cardos XL and uh, the prompt here is a beautiful African woman, face paint, we've got deep intense bokeh. And this is the kind of image it, it, it works very well with. You can see there when we really zoom in very, very close, you can see a little bit of texture inside the image, not very skin like texture, a little bit of texture here down close to the neck. And overall, a very good image with really nice face painting taking place there. Now, I also ran the refiner model, so we can take a look at the refiner outcome. And for Cardos XL, uh, this one is pretty good. We've got very nice looking eyes. The face paint has begun to look more like it was powder. It was blown powder and we've got a lot more texture happening down here. But overall, I like both, both of these images. Sometimes with the refiner, it doesn't produce good results. Sometimes like the eyes here are pretty amazing. Same prompt. This time we're working with the standard SDXL and the, the images are 1024 by 1024. The woman here, I, I'm not quite as convinced about this result. We can see even more texture happening inside of the skin, inside of the portrait. And we've got some sort of uh, some, something happening with the lips, which is not quite convincing. And um, I would not say she's quite as beautiful as the as the first one, the face, not quite as much symmetry. Her nose, there's a little bit of what looks like more like discoloration than face paint going on in the nose. And when we take a look here at the refiner model, you can see we have a much more, I, I, I prefer the face paint uh, appearance. We've got more skin texture happening. The lips have normalized and overall the sort of textures inside the image, I think look a little bit better. I think the eyes could be a little bit better. And overall, I like the, the outcome, but it's not one that follows the prompt as well as the previous one, as well as Cardos. This is one that I got from ChatGPT. We have a lot of detail going on. There's a lot of stuff that the that the software can experiment with. Now, so that you know exactly which version I'm working with, I'm working with Cardos XL version one. It's given 1.10, but it's version one. And the line looks kind of okay. I would say that the face has got some fairly weird looking teeth, but for the most part, this is an okay looking image of a lion cub. These are the settings I'm using for the sampler and the scheduler. And uh, possibly it might give different results with different samplers and schedulers. Now, just looking at the base model for SDXL, the, the, the standard SDXL, model, we have got, uh, I think, a slightly better looking image 
for for the lion maybe one or two too many claws uh, i prefer the face of sdxl i prefer the feet of cardos xl or the paws of <laughs> cardos xl here we've got a futuristic a skyscape landscape it's a, a cityscape which again this one comes from chat gpt and it was a very colorful very detailed prompt we're looking at sdxl the result is kind of disappointing this is the base and we can take a look also at the refine refiner model i do prefer the refiner model for this one but when we go up to the cardos one it is so much better you've got a lot more detail happening in the sky that was part of the prompt objects moving or zooming around in the sky the city is far more convincing but this is the refined model let's take a look at the base model and even with the base model i think instantly it, it does look a lot more detailed this is cardos xl this one is a really nice looking image of a the hand of a cyborg on the table i wanted it to be high key it kind of got high key and it got the right number of fingers as well this is the refiner model so we are using the refiner model which is going to be obviously the sdxl one the standard sdxl 1.0 so it's a little bit of a, of, of a combination of two models there. But the base model here for Cardos produced a really nice image. I do think that in this case, the refiner actually improved the image significantly. But when we take a look at the standard uh, SDXL one, it's not quite as convincing. This is the standard pre-refined one. And it's it, it looks kind of almost as though it's rusting a little bit. I think the prompt obviously left some room for interpretation but uh you've got six fingers happening there it's nowhere near as good as the previous one and the high key uh photography request that wasn't really respected here i mean they look similar but this one is you know we can go back to the previous one i think this one is definitely better than than the uh outcome from the uh sdxl now the refiner model for sdxl for the standard one did actually improve a little bit because we've got slightly tighter detail somewhere near here i don't know if you call that the knuckles of the of the uh, of the organism but i think it looks a little bit, bit better with the refiner one and the refiner one is just doing five steps from 15 to 20. not a lot but sometimes it, it's improving a fair amount now this is a very complex prompt which requires the software to be aware of what's happening inside an image this guy is supposed to be facing us but he's supposed to be turning around to face us these women are supposed to be pretty they're supposed to be ooh. It didn't do a good job. This is the standard SDXL model. This is the one that you get from uh, Stability AI. Our man there is supposed to be mildly surprised. Mm. <laughs> that was the base. This is the refined model. And you can see the refiner has done uh, a, a deal of work there. It's removed the photorealism, which was supposed to be there, but it's given the faces a little bit more. Uh, it's given them more personality they do look quite a lot better the hands still ew, yeah no now Cardos really tried its best for this one it's supposed to be photorealistic and it did create something that looks fairly photorealistic I think maybe with a few more steps the food might have been a little bit more convincing uh, the women look fairly okay he's got a little bit he looks a little bit drunk there he's may, maybe had a little bit too much of the uh, of the beer or wine or whatever they're drinking but it, it it doesn't get the instructions for where they should be sitting how they should be turning around and so on and the refiner model again it gets rid of the photorealism it makes things look like they're kind of drawn or painting it's not very helpful in this case although it did fix the previous one quite a lot when it came to the eyes and it doesn't screw up the hands this time okay so this is cardos once again again that photorealism there there's a slight change in the prompt the guy is supposed to now be a little bit slightly surprised a little bit angry again it doesn't respect the instructions as to where he's sitting but i think that's a weakness maybe in the language model rather than in the image model and when we look at the refiner again it just completely changes the the, the character the style I'm using the same prompt for the refiner as well as for the base model. And it does something here which is completely unexpected. It's changing the image to a painting or a drawing of some sort. Not really what I wanted. But let's go back and do a switch from this image here to the SDXL image. So from there uh, to that one, you can see a huge difference. The photorealism just disappears. 
we end up with a guy looking a little bit I don't know what kind of emotion is that that's supposed to be but it's not it's not respecting the prompt quite as much as I would want and with the refine that it does fix a few things it makes everyone look, look a little bit older uh, the hands become a bit more confused and overall it does fix some things but it also makes things a little bit more messy in some areas and this is one where it's gonna completely shock you this is a simple like three word prompt this is a standard SDXL and this is Cardos. Look how much more colorful. Uh, and look also at, at the amount of contrast there is in, in the Cardos one. We've got more contrast, we've got more color. Same in every case, we're using the same seed. So it's just the model that's changing and it's done quite a lot of, uh, I, I think this one looks, you get to a point where you can almost tell the difference between Cardos and SDXL just by looking, glancing at the image for a couple of seconds. And maybe we'll finish off with this mouse. This is the standard SDXL model. This is Cardos. I do prefer Cardos in this one, but I think this one is a little bit more colorful, standard SDXL one. So that was the comparison. And overall, I think this is one of those ones I'll be definitely keeping on the on the disk drive for, for future use. So I'll have a link to the download in the description. And if you want to take a look at DALI 3, so on the community member uh, on the community page for the channel you can see an example of the one that it did for the guy in the Italian eatery and it's got the guy seated the way that I wanted him to it it respected the, the prompt a lot more it always respected the prompt this is Dali 3 and I've got another image here with a poll for Dali 3 where our man is turning around to look at us he's got that angry look in his face it is respecting the prompt in, in, in a much more sophisticated way than uh, Stable Diffusion. But um, also, I think the photorealism is a little bit more with DALI 3. So that's basically a quick comparison. I don't know if I can link to this page. Uh, this one is for the members any, anyway, so you won't be able to see it unless you remember. Um, but uh, I will, uh, if I can link to this page, I'll link to it in the description. Guys, hope you found that useful. So I will see you in the next one.